NPC Vaudrey, and I'm here to talk to you about the three effective ways to invite to an event. So this can be from building a business to a class to sharing the product, whatever it may be, these truly are effective ways that have been carefully crafted from professionals as well as successful people in our industry. So on page three in the share guide is where you can follow along if you'd like to read specific scripts or listen to me as I read them to you. Three key things to always remember, regardless if you're inviting or following up with someone, is that make sure that you're super personal as you're speaking to them. You wanna make sure that you listen to their pain point and that you identify what the need is that they're looking for. And the third thing is ultimately, we're a connection-based company. So make sure you're connecting to them on their terms. So whenever I talk to my team and I share with them how I've been successful in sharing the product or getting samples into the hands of individuals, it's because I stop and I listen. That's all, your only job and your only responsibility is to really hear what people are saying and they will express to you what their need is. They already want this product. So as you're speaking to them or you're inviting them to have an experience, you can follow along with the script that's already put together for you. So we've been using doTERRA essential oils and we're loving how they help us with so many different things. This is a great opportunity for you to respond to what their need is in their life. And you can relate it back to them because obviously being an essential oil user and part of doTERRA, you've used the oils for the exact same situation. So share your story and make it relatable so that they want to have that sample. Then you can simply ask them, is it okay if I share a sample with you? And in 48 hours, I'll make sure that I follow up with you to ensure that you're using the oils properly, safely, and that you love them as much as I love them. The second thing you wanna do is you wanna prepare them for inviting them to a class. This can be in lots of different formats. So you can invite them to a one-on-one. -on -one. I love taking people out to lunch or having a coffee date with them or sharing tea with them and really sharing the power of the oils and the company and how we can use them. I also love to invite them to a class. So if you're hosting regular classes, then make sure that you share that with them a specific date that you have availability. And third, you can do anything online. That's the beauty of technology nowadays. So simply ask them, are you open to learning more about essential oils and natural ways of caring for yourself and your family? Pause and listen, let them respond to you and then invite them to your event, whatever works best for them. Okay, and, and the third thing that you wanna make sure that you do is that you remind them to come. Statistically speaking, most people don't know what they're doing until the day of the event. So by texting them 48 hours in advance, and I prefer to do a text just because it's what people respond to nowadays. So we gotta, you know, roll with the flow. So send them a text, remind them of your class, and make it personal. So if they spoke to you about something that they would like to try the oils for, maybe cleaning, then remind them that we have a great solution and I'd love to have you come to my class tomorrow and try out the new cleaning products. It's as simple as that. And then the day of, reach out to them two to four hours roughly before the class and remind them of the location and that you're really looking forward to getting to spend time with them. So regardless if you're talking to somebody as a customer or a business builder, you can follow these same exact three steps to sharing the experience, inviting, and reminding them to attend. So remember to have fun. Inviting is the first step to changing lives.